Remember his Caribbean blood down in your veins. Remember your sunshine now when you meet Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Makisha. If it's your first time here, welcome. Please do your girl a favor and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more natural hair videos, carnival content, lifestyle vlogging. Join the family and also hit the notification bell so you get all the alerts when I upload new videos. I have not done one of these pre-poo my routine before I shampoo my hair before, so I'm going to do that now. So let's jump right into this video. So my hair is in an old wash and go. Still has some definition, but you can tell like I have some product buildup and stuff. Um, so what I like doing is... I get any conditioner, old conditioner that I've had for a while, and I'm just using up all my old conditioners for this process. Get like the most cheap, inexpensive conditioner, anything that you like. So what I do is I section off my hair. Usually always start with the back first. I try to do my start my wash day by at least 11, 12 noon because my hair takes a while to dry. This is just water, nothing but water in here. And I'm just using this to mist my hair, wet my hair. Normally, like whatever product I have in my hair already from my wash and go, I just use the water to like deactivate it, reactivate it. And that seems pretty wet to me. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start detangling. So I started doing this process like six months ago before I washed my hair I realized that I started getting less um, less shedding, less tangling when I do it this way and it just makes my time in the shower a lot faster and a lot easier. So as you guys can see I have enough product left in my hair so I don't even need the conditioner for this section. So the water is just like reactivating the custard and whatever product is already in my hair from the week. And I tend to do my hair, wash my hair, or style my hair once a week. Yeah, so I don't even need the conditioner. But if my hair was like, if it was like my regular styling product, I would have needed a little bit of conditioner just to help glide my fingers through and get any shedded hair out. But as you guys can see, that looks pretty defined. This can be a nice way for you to like refresh your curls too. I actually did this one time this week before work and I just refreshed the curls. But um, this is what I do before I wash my hair using the old product and I'm just raking my fingers through getting whatever shedded hair might be in my hair. And guys, the back of my hair for some reason I don't know if anybody else has this problem, but the back of my hair usually like gets tangled, knots, matted. Like you see how short back hair is? It's just because it just, I don't know. I don't know if it's the texture or what. It just gets really matted up. So I can feel like some of the shedded hair already in my, on my hands. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that aside. And then I'm just gonna twist it up. And this process doesn't take me more than about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how tangled my hair is. Um, I usually, like I said, I usually try to wash my hair once a week, but if I go for two weeks, I know I'm gonna have a lot. I know this process is gonna take a lot longer because I'm gonna have a lot more shedded hair and stuff. In here, since I refreshed my um, wash and go this week, I don't have as much shedded hair because I went through this process once already this week. But yeah. And guys, make sure you get like the roots of your hair. When you detangle, make sure you detangle from the roots. You don't want your roots of your hair to be matted. You don't want to neglect the roots of your hair. So guys, I try to stay away from combs and brushes and things like that when I'm doing my hair because I don't want to rip through my hair and cause any unnecessary breakage or damage. And I just got a little bit of shedded hair from that section. So I'm just gonna continue. Separate. Um, hopefully you guys can tell on camera how like dirty the hair actually is. Like there's somebody might say you could just go ahead and refresh that. It looks so good refresh. But y'all, my hair is dirty, okay? And um, not last night, but the night before, 
I didn't even like put my bonnet on. So same process, take the water. And that's a tip for like natural hair, guys. Do not just try to go into your hair. Like water is our best friend. Like y'all do not understand. Water is your best friend to drink for your body and for your hair. And this spray bottle is amazing. This is like my third spray bottle. They tend to stop working after a while for me. But you can get them all over Sally's, Amazon. Just search on um, 360 water bottle. So this section is my problem section. I get most of my tangles and knots in this section. So I know to like really separate and take my time and really work the water in. I'm not sure if it's because of the way I sleep on my hair, but this section is always like hard to like detangle or harder, the hardest part to detangle. So right here I can feel that the ends are knotted. So I'm just working that water in. And after doing this big section, I'm gonna split it in half horizontally and detangle some more. And another tip that I always give you guys, when I'm doing my natural hair, I always usually try to not be in a rush, be able to take my time and just put on a movie or a show or something and just take my time from start to finish. That's the way I do the process because our hair is very fragile. My hair is very fine. Separate and detangle and make sure all of the knots are out. I still get knots while I'm in the shower, but it's definitely not as much. Like all of this shedded hair. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, like I have a exhaust fan or whatever fan in the bathroom and it makes a lot of noise. So if I do record in the bathroom and the bathroom lighting is so bomb, okay? Really, really good lighting in my bathroom. But when I record in the bathroom, I have to do a voiceover and I just rather just talk to the, to you guys than do a voiceover after the fact. So yeah, here's another piece of shedded hair stuck in here, another knot. So I'm just taking my time and working that out. See? You guys can see it. <laughs> okay, got it. So I've them done with this section. Just go ahead and twist it on up. So I'm just rewetting the section a little bit more. Um of course, if your hair texture is tighter than mine or your hair is more dense, you will adjust to suit. So the goal is to make sure that you're really detangling your hair and making sure that you get all the shedded hair out and work all the knots out before the shower to ensure that you don't have more knots and more tangle and unnecessary breakage while in the shower. So as you guys can see, I'm pretty much doing the same thing to, throughout. I'm gonna do this last section and then I'll be back so you guys can see how it looks before I get in the shower and wash my hair. You guys see how dead that hair looks? But I can definitely tell that I'm seeing some a little bit more improvement in it. So guys, my hair is done. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and shampoo my hair. I'm gonna leave a video right here in the cards to show you guys how I usually wash my hair. Thank you guys so much for watching and rocking with me. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video.